Hello everyone and welcome to video number one in the quick start series of videos for TechSite Builder. Uh, we're going to get started right away and show you how to set up your business information and the header for your website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is once you log into the dashboard of your website is go down to underneath where it says admin info and click on business info. All right, underneath business info, it's going to ask you for the basic information about your business. And it's going to take uh, throughout your website, you're going to take uh, th some of this information and use it in various other places throughout the website. So it's a good idea to, to take care of this information first. The first thing that it's asking for is your business name. This should already be filled out with the information that you provided when you signed up for TechSite Builder. But you can go ahead and change that if you want to or just leave it how it is. The next section is the slogan, and this is, uh, you know, just a quick little tagline or slogan for your business. This is totally optional, uh, but you can fill it in if you want. My tagline happens to be your friendly neighborhood computer guy. All right, the next uh, section is uh, business contact and address. So the first thing it asks for is your business email. And this again should already be filled out with the information that you provided when you signed up for TechSite Builder. But if you want to use a different email address, you can fill it in now. And what this is going to be is, is this email is going to receive any kind of notifications that come from your website. So whether that be uh, from someone filling out your contact form or someone leaving a comment on a blog post or something like that, uh, this is the email where you're going to receive those notifications. So make sure this is a valid email address. The next section is the business phone number. This is where you will enter the phone number for your business. And this is pretty straightforward. Uh, the formatting here is very relaxed, so you can include, you know, parentheses, or if you have, uh, if you're not in the United States and you have a, a, a different format for your phone number, or if you want to include an extension or something like that at the end, uh, you, you can do anything like that with the business phone number. All right, once you fill that in, uh, next is the business address. Now note uh, the asterisks on the business address. It's saying the business address is optional. If you work from home or do not want to disclose your address, simply empty out all the fields and choose to show different information in your header. So uh, by default, uh, your address is going to show up in your website's header, and we're going to talk about how to, how to change that later on. But for whatever reason, if you just don't want an address listed anywhere on your website, just go ahead and empty out those fields and you'll be all set. Otherwise, if you have an address, uh, like a storefront or something like that, that you want your customers to know about, go ahead and fill it out now. Or if you're like me and you do not have a storefront, but you do have a P.O. box and you might want to list your P.O. box in case your customers want to send you something, uh, then you can uh, fill out your P.O. box information, your post office box information here. Um, you know, it's up to you. Whatever information you want to put in here, you can. You can put in an apartment number or a suite number or something like that at the end of your street address if you need to. Uh, so it's totally up to you, but it is optional. The next area is the social media links down at the bottom. Now this is where you can fill in the full URL of your social media profiles. And then you can choose to show these social buttons on your home, on your uh, website, either in your header or in a widget in your sidebar or in your footer. And we're gonna talk about all of that stuff later, but this is just where you fill in the information for your social media profiles. So it's always gonna be something like HTTP or HTTPS and then the link, the full URL to your social media account. So you want to make sure that if like for Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash, and then whether it's your business name or it might be a string of uh, letters or numbers, uh, whatever it is, you want to put it in there because it's basically, it's just going to be a link that's going to link the visitor to your profile page. So you can fill in as many of these as you want to. These are all optional. I'm just going to go ahead and for simplicity's sake, fill in just the basic link to the social media service, uh, but you would want to actually fill in your profile URL. All right, what's, once all that is done, you can click Save Settings, and then that should save your business information. All right, next let's talk about setting up the header. 
and the header is the area at the very top of your website. So under structure and style, we're going to click on header up here at the top. Now this is where you can set up the header, which includes your logo and other business information and will appear at the top of every page of your website. So the first uh, decision you need to make for your header is what type of header do you want to show? Do you want to show one uh, that's split into three sections, one that's split into two sections, or one that's full width? So uh, for simplicity's sake, for this quick start video, we're just going to deal with the three section header. Now in the left third, this is where you want to upload your logo. If you don't have a logo, that's okay, because then your site is just going to default to your business name and uh, slogan. And let, let's really, really quick, let's take a look at what that looks like. Now throughout the videos, we're going to be going back and forth between the back end, which is where we are now, the dashboard, and the front end, which is what, the, you know, the, your website is going to look like to other people. So to get to the front end of your website, you simply need to click this house icon here at the very top. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the front end of your website. Now you can see, you know, we still have some things we need to do, but at the top here, you can see our header. We have our business name and slogan, the phone number and the address is already filled in up here. Uh, so again, if you don't have a logo, then it'll just default to your business name and slogan and that's fine. So going back to the header screen, uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and upload a logo. So to do that, I'm just going to click the upload logo button here in the left third. And then what it's going to do is it's, I already actually have my logo uploaded from previously, but when you first get to this screen, uh, you're going to see just an empty box here. And then it's going to ask you, actually, you're going to see this screen. It's going to say drop files anywhere to upload or select files. So this is where you can actually just drag and drop it makes it really easy. You could drag and drop the image file from your desktop or a folder to your browser window and then let go. And then it's going to upload that image and you can see the uh, the thumbnail over here on the right and then you can see that it's highlighted over here and once that's done all you have to do is click the set header image button and then that will set your uh, logo image as the uh, logo and you can tell it's been set successfully because you'll see the URL to the uh, image showing up here in this box all right, so the next thing we want to do is choose what we want to do with the middle third section of our header. In this case, it's showing the phone number, but I could choose to show my address, my social media icons, or an image. So for this demo, I'm just going to leave it as phone number because I definitely want my phone number to be very prominent uh, right there in the middle of my header. The next section is the right third, and again, you have the same choices phone number, address, social media icons, or you can upload any kind of image you want in case you want to totally customize the way uh, your header looks. You can uh, choose to just create your own image in Photoshop and then upload it to your website. Uh, but for me right now, I'm going to go ahead instead of address, I'm going to choose social media icons. All right, and now I can click save settings. And once those are saved, I can go back to the front end of my website and I can see now my logo is showing up here at the left, my phone number in the middle, and the social media icons on the right. Okay, so now that my header is all set, uh, that'll be the end of this video. And then in the next video, we're going to talk about setting up the rest of your, your homepage for your website. So I will see you in the next video.